all right hello guys welcome back to my channel this is Ike Akimbola speaking in today's video i'm going to walk you through how to validate your team by yourself yes so many i've personally searched through youtube to check for everyone teaching on this the only person i saw that wanted to start this particular training didn't complete it now i'm going to show you how you can validate your team by yourself don't forget that or your sales certificate there's always a team number there but when you take that certificate to the bank at the end of the day the bank will tell you that oh this is not validated there will be an error that will pop up on that particular uh, search when they search for your team number and you don't want this to happen to you it will not allow you to be able to create your bank account and you will not be able to do anything with that thing that thing your sales certificate is as good as useless if it is not validated by the FIRS, that is the Federal Inland Revenue Service. And how do you get to validate it? Usually, the major step of validation is for you to go to the FIRS office and submit your documents of registration and fill the form, and they will validate it for you on a tax promax. Right? This is done on a tax promax. But right now, there's an option available for you to be able to carry this out by yourself. So it's going to be a walkthrough that will guide you through what to do. If I had to get a manual guide to be able to carry this out okay it's it's um it's um what's it called now i think it is mixing it up but you can see this is a manual guide i'm walking you through on how to be able to do this by yourself right so it is done on the task formats as well and task formats is a state of the art task management solution so task will work a lot of things you can carry out taxpayer registration tax filing assessment payment reporting tax clearance certificate receipt and audit investigation all these things that we carry out on task formats it is efficient it is compliant it is helps you to make easy decisions because you can see if you are paid tax or not and whatever decision you need to make it is cost effective because you don't have to go to the fis office every other time right having said that let's look at how you can register for your tax clearance by yourself now all you need to do is search for tax pro max tax pro max on your google account or on your browser Right, tax format. So the first option that comes up, tax format.frs.pro.gov.ng, tax format.frs.gov.ng. So you got, you're going to be seeing what is seen, showing on my screen at this moment, right? What you're saying now is this all you need to do is click on, uh, you can see the options coming up login, register, validate TCC, non residential, uh, non residence registration. That's where I can do self registration by clicking on register button. So click on the register button. Once click on the register button, it will load up and show you these options. The options showing up at the corporate address commission, state, uh, state incorporations, individuals, continue registration if you have your OTP. So this is it. Let me walk you through. So for CAC registration now, all you need to do is click on CAC, that is corporate address commission. Once you go to Corporate Affairs Commission, you would have to select the type of registration you have. So it's either you have a, an enterprise, or you have a limited, or you have a trustee. So don't forget there are three major types of registration, right? The business name, the company, and the uh, incorporated trustee. Now, the limited is same as any registration that carry LTD or limited at the end of the name. Why enterprise could be your business name, your ventures, your enterprise your you know all those other business name registration that you have done that does not does not contain your ltd right then while your trustees your incorporated trustee your foundation your churches your marks your ngos and different other registration that are non-governmental and are uh, association or um association based registrations right so that is what you select so you select whichever one works for you you select so for this particular video, I'm going to be selecting enterprise. So let me select enterprise just in a minute. Enterprise select. So let's quickly let's fill in the details now. So we're going to I'm going to be using an RC number. No personality is being shared in this video. Right? Let's search and see what's going to happen. Make sure you select enterprise if it's a business name and click on search. And let's wait and see what's going to happen. You can see that it's going to bring up um on clear details of the registration right so now you need to be able to know your email address that is for the registration you need to know your OT, the otp um, the phone number that was used for the registration so whatever the case is where do you want to get otp 
sent to. You can either get the OTP sent to your email address or get the OTP sent to your phone number. So if you select your phone number, for instance, you put in the phone number complete. You can see that there's the beginning of the phone number and there's the end of the phone number. So let me put a random phone number. Four, let me just put this, put this, put this, and four, one, two, zero. Is this complete? Two, 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 two. I think it's more. Let me delete one in the middle like this. Send. And you see that it will not go through because the phone number has to be the same. So if you provide the same phone number, you'll be able to get a uh, post you going to proceed with this so let me put in the correct phone number now so that i'll be able to move to the next day and you see what is going to show me very quickly now once you've been able to uh go ahead with sending or filling the proper email or the, the notification you've gotten a notification on your email address or notification on your phone number all you need to do is put in the otp now the only issue or the downside of this is that the otp might not come in in time the OTP might not come in in time, it might take days, hours for it to drop. But once the OTP drops, you put in the OTP here and then you carry out the validation continuously. Now, let's say the OTP didn't drop and you know you have to do other things or this page went off. Now, this is all you need to do. Return back. You would see that there's a third option here down below continue registration. So, if you click on continue registration, you just need to put in the OTP. Right. Once you get the OTP, you might not get it immediately. But whenever you get the OTP, just drop the OTP here and you continue your registration once without any issue. Once the OTP has been delivered, the next thing you need to do is go ahead and click. Go to the you fill in some form, some details. I, I'm not. I'm not going to share personal details right now. So you will see on my screen. I'll be sharing some of the things. So the walkthrough is here. So you can go to the FIS office to get a document like this for a perfect walkthrough. But this video is going to help you as well, right? So the taxpayer information will be showing up. Once that their information shows up, you just fill in the details anywhere that it's asking you to fill, fill it in. Once it validates, you will pre be presented with the form above. You fill in the form and put in the required information, right? You put in the required information. Now you would like to activate, if you'd like to activate the e-service, this will enable so you can apply for a service, select yes, tick the name and your designation, right? Either the secretary or the treasurer or whatever it is that you are holding as the person carrying out the process. So once you are done with the filing, filling the form, you declare and click on submit. Once you click on submit, your team validation is completed without any issue. Without any issue, your team validation is done. Now, another information I would like to share in this video is that right this particular process is only available for companies registered from 2023 september 1st downward so you're going to register in 2023 2024 2025 you are qualified to carry out this process you will notice that if your company is older than 2023 you will not be able to carry this because we tell you that a company older than 2023 or so it will bring it on that error, bring it on that error. You don't need to see that, right? So, all you need to do is make sure that your company is below 23 downward. Then you'll be able to carry out the self service by yourself, right? How many of you that actually helped somebody? Another information I also think it's worth sharing is the um, the USSD code for FIS. It is star 829 there. Star 829. I don't know why it's showing. Uh, maybe it will come up properly. Star 829 there is the um, USSD code for the FIS. You can retrieve your team from there. You can verify your tax clearance from there. You can locate any FIS tax office close to you from there. You can also find information on tax types and the rates. You can also make general inquiries all without internet services. So this is actually a very cool service for you to use. Make sure you maximize that, right? So, also make sure you pay your tax and be a good Nigerian. I believe it accepts you. My name is Akimbola Ezekiel, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.